don't know about y'all, but I'm all about Christmas crafts that are quick, easy, and budget friendly. And that is exactly what I'm sharing today. So I hope y'all will stick around to see how they all come together. On this channel, I love sharing easy DIYs and budget home decor. If we haven't met yet, my name is Lisa and this is Our Gray House. This was a 90% off clearance find from Hobby Lobby, so I only spent 30 cents. And I removed the jute twine and the bead, and then I decided to sand it down before I painted it. And I'm using Waverly Chalk Paint in the color Antique Green. I just love this color green for Christmas crafts. My dry <laughs> paint bands are still hanging on, and I'm just going to add a super simple minimalist Christmas tree on here. And all you have to do is draw a line and then add some lines for the branches. Very simple. I'm using Waverly Wax in the color Antique for the bead. And I think y'all know the drill by now. I paint on the wax and then I wipe it off with a damp cloth. And you could also use like a, a baby wipe if you wanted to. And to finish it off, I'm gonna add the bead back on with some jute twine. And if you're wanting to recreate this project, you could use scrap wood. And I know Dollar Tree has been carrying some small wood pieces that would be perfect for this. Or maybe repurpose something that you already have. This turned out cute and I love the simplicity of it. It's gonna look great on my tiered tray. For DIY number two, I'm using this linen kind of fabric and I'm using these triangle shapes that I cut out of cardboard as my templates. And I'm just using a pencil to trace the shapes and then I cut it out. Also, don't be like me and use all of your, you know, quote unquote good scissors because when it's time to cut fabric, you'll wish you had a pair that cut better and not have to use these tiny pair of scissors like I'm having to do. I'm using that magical liquid stitch that you can get at Hobby Lobby and of course you can get it at other craft stores too or Amazon but anyways I'm putting a thin bead of glue well at least I'm trying to make this a thin bead of glue on the long sides of the triangle fabric and then placing them together I do this for all three triangles and I mentioned this in my last video but you can get wood slices at Hobby Lobby but make sure to watch the prices in the wood pile section the items have to be $4.99 and up to be 40% off so these wood slices wouldn't be on sale but you can go to the his and her section aka the wedding section and basically get the same thing for 40% off every other week now they used to do 50% but I don't know they changed that up but anyways Dollar Tree does carry them too but it's three for a dollar 25 so maybe not as good as deal of a deal as you can get at Hobby Lobby. And Marvin helped me on this part and drilled three holes into the wood slice so that is going to be my base. The triangle shapes are dry enough now to stuff and I'm just using an old pillow that I was going to throw out and repurposing the stuffing to use for this project. And when it is full enough, I take a small dowel, and this actually might have been from like the candy making section or something, but I can't remember. Anyway, you could even use a twig for this part, and actually, now that I think about it, that would have looked cooler. But put this in the middle and then take some more liquid stitch and add that to the bottom and close it up. And you'll have to use some sort of clips to keep everything together as you see me doing here. Set it aside to dry and do that for all three trees. I did trim the dowels down to be just a bit shorter and I don't think I mentioned but the hole that Marvin drilled actually goes all the way through and my original idea was to just do it halfway but after thinking about it he drilled all the way so there was even more holding that dowel upright and then I used some wood glue and I just put some on the bottom and stuck it in the hole and it did ooze a bit but it was fine and I moved it every so often so it wouldn't be sticking to anything. I added some distressing ink to kind of age this, but <laughs> really it just made it look dirty. But anyway, I probably should have distressed it before I stuffed it. And I made some simple jute twine bows and I hot glued them to the top of each of the trees. And I really like how this turned out. I would distress it differently if I did it again, but still, it's simple, it's rustic, and I love it. And I think it's gonna look good on my tear tray. Now you can find these cubes at Dollar Tree. You can use the regular size ones as well. 
And this last DIY, DIY number three, is probably my favorite. Well, okay, so take that back. <laughs> I really do like the other two, but anyway, focus Lisa. So I'm using what I really wax in the color antique, and I know, you know, I know, I do use this color all the time, but I just love how it turns out, and so why not use it? But if you're not fond of the wood color, you could absolutely paint it. And I think this project would look good painted or just, you know, with a wave blue wax. But again, just paint it on the wax, wipe it off with a damp cloth, and it'll work great every time. Or at least it does for me. I'm using a white paint pen to add the letters J, O, and Y to the cubes. And I'm just freehanding it. And no, my handwriting is not perfect. It's not really supposed to be. So if you don't have a Cricut, do not let that stop you from creating. Freehanding works just as well. And honestly, it makes it look more authentic. And Marvin helped me once again by drilling a very thin hole for me in each of the cubes. These trees are bottle brush trees from Dollar Tree and I removed them from their base and realized that the wire stem was too long for the fit I was looking for so I took my snippers and I took off some of the bottom and I used the less is more approach. I snipped off some, tried it out, and snipped off more if I needed it. And I was going to make them all the same size but decided to switch it up and put two smaller trees on the outside and the middle tree or center one is going to be larger. This turned out so good, y'all. I am so very pleased with the whole minimalist, rustic look vibe that it's got going on. Y'all, these are my projects for today, and I hope that you love them as much as I do, and I appreciate so very much y'all taking time from your day to join me while I craft and create, and I appreciate the company and the way y'all support my channel by liking and subscribing. And don't forget, if you want to follow me on social media, like here on YouTube or over on Instagram or TikTok, my handle is Ira Gray House. But just don't follow me in real life, though, because that's creepy. Bye.